Imagine a place where countless ships and planes have simply vanished without a trace. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle, a region steeped in mystery and intrigue. Stretching between the points of Miami, Bermuda and Puerto Rico, it has been the site of numerous unexplained disappearances. Stories of paranormal activity and magnetic anomalies abound. Consider Flight 19, a group of five torpedo bombers that disappeared in 1945 during a routine training mission, or the SS Marine Sulphur Queen, a tanker that vanished in 1963 with all 39 crew members on board. And these are just a few examples of the mysteries that shroud the Bermuda Triangle. Scientists and explorers have tried to crack the code of the Triangle's secrets, investigating everything from underwater topography to compass variations. Yet no theory has been able to fully explain the strange occurrences. Despite numerous investigations, the Bermuda Triangle continues to baffle scientists and explorers. A book that no one can read, filled with images nobody understands. This is the enigma that is the Voynich Manuscript. Discovered in the early 20th century by Wilfred Voynich, this peculiar artifact has baffled scholars and cryptographers ever since. It's a medieval codex, handwritten in an unknown script and filled with vivid, baffling illustrations of unknown plants, astral diagrams, and even bizarre tiny human figures. Many have tried to unlock the secrets of this cryptic book, but all attempts to decipher it have proven futile. Some propose it's a work of a brilliant yet eccentric mind, Others suggest it might be a sophisticated hoax. There are even those who believe it to be an alien artifact or a communication from a lost civilization. Despite all the scrutiny and myriad theories, the Voynich Manuscript continues to guard its secrets well. The Voynich Manuscript remains one of the most intriguing unsolved mysteries in the world. If you're enjoying these mysteries, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Subscribing allows you to get updates on new videos and grants you access to exclusive content. A structure so ancient its purpose and builders remain a mystery. Imagine a monument of mammoth stone standing tall and proud in the serene English countryside. This is Stonehenge, a prehistoric puzzle that has intrigued humanity for centuries. Discovered by antiquarians in the 17th century, Stonehenge consists of massive standing stones arranged in a circular layout. But who built this enigmatic structure? Some believe it was the work of ancient druids, while others attribute it to extraterrestrial beings. What was its purpose? Scholars have proposed various theories. Some suggest it was a sacred temple, a site for celestial observation or even a place for healing. The truth however remains shrouded in the mists of time. Despite extensive archaeological research and advanced dating techniques, many questions about Stonehenge remain unanswered. The methods used in its construction and the exact purpose it served continue to elude us. Despite all our technological advances Stonehenge continues to baffle us. Massive designs etched into the ground, visible only from the sky. Welcome to the arid plains of southern Peru, home to the Nazca Lines. First discovered by a commercial aircraft pilot in the early 20th century, these intricate geoglyphs sprawl over nearly 400 square miles. The Nazca Lines include more than 800 straight lines, 300 geometric figures, and 70 biomorphs. Designs that resemble living forms such as spiders, monkeys, and birds. But why were they created? And how? Theories abound, some suggesting astronomical purposes, others proposing religious rituals, or even the work of extraterrestrials. The truth remains elusive. Despite modern technology and extensive research, the creation methods and purpose of these massive earth drawings are still under debate. Even the culture that created them, the Nazca people, disappeared around 1500 years ago, leaving behind little more than these cryptic designs. The Nazca Lines, an ancient mystery that continues to puzzle us. Monuments built with such precision, they defy our understanding of ancient capabilities. The Sphinx and Pyramids of Egypt stand as grand reminders of a civilization long past, their construction and purpose shrouded in enigma. Discovered centuries ago, these architectural marvels continue to captivate our imagination. Massive blocks of stone, each weighing several tons, were somehow moved and stacked with meticulous precision forming structures that have stood the test of time, but how? That's the question that baffles us. Some theories suggest the use of an elaborate system of pulleys and ramps, while others lean towards extraterrestrial intervention. The Sphinx, with its human head and lion's body, adds another layer of mystery. Carved from a single block of limestone, it watches over the Giza Plateau with an inscrutable gaze. What were these structures used for? Tombs for pharaohs? astronomical observatories, or perhaps a means to showcase their power and wealth. 
The Sphinx and Pyramids of Egypt, a testament to the mysteries of ancient civilizations. A city of immense wealth and advanced technology, lost to time. This statement has been used to describe the legendary city of Atlantis, a place shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Some say it was a utopia, far ahead of its time, while others believe it to be a cautionary tale of hubris and downfall. The story of Atlantis was first chronicled by the ancient philosopher Plato, who described it as an island nation located beyond the pillars of Hercules. He spoke of its incredible wealth, its mighty navy, and its eventual downfall swallowed by the sea in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods. Over the centuries the tale of Atlantis has sparked countless theories about its exact location, some suggest it was in the Mediterranean, others propose the Caribbean, and some even point to Antarctica. Each theory presents its own compelling evidence yet none have been definitively proven. But perhaps the most captivating aspect of the Atlantis mystery is not where it was, but why it disappeared. Some believe it was the result of natural disasters, as Plato suggested. Others postulate that the Atlanteans exhausted their resources leading to their own downfall. There are even theories suggesting alien intervention or advanced technology gone awry. Whatever the truth may be, the story of Atlantis serves as a reminder of the transience of civilizations and the power of nature. It's a tale that captivates us with its blend of history, mythology, and mystery. And despite the many theories and explorations, the city remains elusive, its existence and disappearance still a puzzle to be solved. The lost city of Atlantis, a mystery that continues to captivate our imagination. From a city lost beneath the waves, we now set sail to the open seas. Imagine a ship found adrift with no crew aboard, the table set for a meal, personal belongings undisturbed but the crew nowhere to be found. This is the eerie tale of the Mary Celeste. Discovered adrift in the Atlantic Ocean in 1872, the Mary Celeste was in seaworthy condition with ample provisions, but her crew had mysteriously vanished. The ship's logbook provided no insight, the last entry made 11 days prior to her discovery. The fate of the Mary Celeste's crew has become one of history's most perplexing maritime mysteries. Theories abound from mutiny to piracy, from sea monsters to supernatural phenomena. Some suggest that a water spout or a freak wave might have scared the crew into abandoning the ship. Others postulate that fumes from the 1,701 barrels of industrial alcohol in the ship's cargo hold might have led the crew to fear an imminent explosion. Yet, no definitive evidence has ever been found to support these theories. The mystery surrounding the Mary Celeste continues to baffle historians and maritime experts. This is a tale that, much like Atlantis, lures us in with its mixture of history and mystery. The Mary Celeste, a maritime enigma that continues to intrigue and mystify us. From the enigmatic seas we now journey to the shores of Nova Scotia. Picture an island with a hidden pit, rumored to hold a treasure beyond imagination. This is the riddle of the Oak Island Money Pit. Discovered in 1795, the Money Pit is a deep and complex system of shafts and tunnels, seemingly designed to protect a vast treasure. Over the centuries, numerous expeditions have tried to excavate the pit, but the ingenious booby traps and the pit's tendency to flood have resulted in multiple tragedies including the loss of six lives. Theories about the treasure's origin range from pirate loot to the lost manuscripts of Shakespeare, and even the Holy Grail. Despite extensive efforts and technological advancements, the true nature of the treasure, if it exists, remains a mystery. The Oak Island Money Pit is a tantalizing enigma that, much like the Mary Celeste and Atlantis, draws us in with its blend of history, mystery, and the promise of hidden riches. The Oak Island Money Pit, a treasure hunt that continues to defy us.